Hello and welcome to another tutorial video from Profile Tree. Today I'm just going to take you through how to edit your currency and shipping options and all the stuff that you need to get going with your e-commerce site. So once you get to your homepage of your website, click Commerce and then click Payments. So before you get started you need to connect one of the following. I think you're best connecting Stripe as it has Apple Pay and various other popular payment methods. So go ahead and connect that as soon as you can. And then if you go down to the bottom, this is where you can edit your currency. So this is all the currencies that Squarespace offers. You can see there's quite a lot. So select whichever one you need for your website and go ahead and get started. So that's how you change your currency. And now we'll go back and connect Stripe. I'll just quickly take you through how to get started with Stripe. So you're going to need to activate your account by putting in your business website URL. In your description. And just fill in all these details so that you can sign up to Stripe and then once you've done that it's far easier to accept payments from various different sources. So this is something that you need to get before you can connect Stripe. You need to have an eight digit company number. So if you go ahead and fill that out, you will get one. Once you obtain that, just paste it in to Stripe. Your VAT number needs to go in there, business address, your first and last name. This is personal information, so whoever is legally entitled to set up this website and part owner of the business, if it's a private limited company, which I've selected, you need to enter this information yourself. And you need to, oh, I don't know if you need to, but you need to state whether you own 25% or more of the business. Do you have significant responsibility for managing the company? Are you a member or of the governing board of, your, of the business? Your date of birth and your own personal address. And then the account that you want your funds to be distributed to when you start making sales. So just enter all that information and then authorize access to this account and that'll be you set up. So if we go back and we take a look at shipping and click add shipping option. So shipping options may be calculated by a variety of methods. Choose how you would like your options costs to be calculated. So we've got flat rate, we've got depending on weight, carrier calculated via FedEx, carrier calculated via UPS, 
carrier calculated by USPS. So if you want the flat rate, that means you can define your charge for each order. And that's it, That's every order will have the same rate. It can be depending on the weight. It's very self-explanatory. And I'm gonna click flat rate because it gives you more control over the rate that you charge. You'll need to think whether you're delivering all over the UK or if it's all over the world or if you're in the US, if it's all over the US or if it's just in your jurisdiction or your country, then that will depend on um, what you're going to select. I would say if it's just within the UK or England or Scotland or Wales or Northern Ireland or Southern Ireland or if it's just in a confined space then you would select flat rate and choose what you want but if not then maybe select carrier calculated by a FedEx and then if they're um, delivering your product they will uh, choose a delivery fee for you could be easier but for now we'll go with flat rate So it's going to be United Kingdom and click save and there is your one cost delivery fee flat rate shipping option. So that is the end of today's tutorial. I was just briefly showing you how to connect your uh, payment methods and how to add your shipping options. I also have a full e-commerce tutorial video available which I will put a link in the description for which gives you a more broad um, explanation of how to create an e-commerce website. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in contact. Email us at hello at profiletree.com or simply leave a comment on this video. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Goodbye.